welcome to the X of You. My name is Paul, and I've got my good friend Joe on the line. Say hello, Joe. Paul, how are you doing? You all right? I'm doing great, mate. I am doing great. Good, so, man. this is going to be like a weekly rant. So, a little bit of background <laughs> for, with my mate Joe. He is a professional <laughs> musician. He is a classical pianist from Glasgow, and he's got a fouler mouth than I. So, uh, give us an example, Joe. Really? Yeah. Is that even possible, Paul? Fuck off. <laughs> it fucking is. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So, Joe. Paul, let, let's, keep, let's keep it clean. It's not 9 p.m. yet. No, no. Um, yeah. The time of this recording is 13.15. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> Right. We're drinking already. Well, Joe is. I, I'm not, so I'm just drinking air. I just have a drink like that for now. You're behaving yourself, mate. Yeah, I'm behaving myself. I'm behaving myself. So, in... Well, it is a weekend. Oh, yes. Oh, it is a long weekend. It's a bank holiday weekend, I seem to recall. Oh, is that next week? <laughs> Can't remember. Friday, Monday, it's all the same to me. Yeah. <laughs> so, Joe... Um... The bad habits from Glasgow, huh? Yep. <laughs> well, you say bad habits. They're good habits. <laughs> but so yeah. what do you want to talk about today, Jay? What has what has caught your mind uh well what's caught your view uh, in the industry uh, this week that's really pissed you what's off? What's been what's been getting the matter Paul? Yes, what's been grinding your fucking gears about the industry? Ah, uh, what's been getting the money off? Um I would say it's been getting in a lot of people's uh, nerves recently um, because we can't perform anymore. Yeah. Um, and I, it'll be the same for yourself as well, Paul, and like in production and whatever. Yeah. Um, I think we've all actually started to realise how little money we're actually making off um, everything else in the industry, like our compositions, and um, so I think social media. Yeah. Uh, YouTube platforms, uh, no platforms, Spotify, anything, you know. Um, I seen my royalty statement uh, a couple of weeks ago, and I, I can't fucking believe it. <laughs> um, right, so uh, let's give a bit of background. So uh, with Joe, yeah. with Joe's uh, royalties, uh, he gets on Spotify. He it shows how many times he got played versus how much money he earned. So how many times you get yeah. played? Well, on on Spotify uh, for one track that I've got. I think we're we're looking at say a hundred and ten thousand uh, listens at the moment. Yeah. Um, and for the six months uh, royalty statement there, um, I was lucky to break four hundred dollars. Fucking hell. Um, so which, my, so you minus you your imagine. so you minus your exchange rate and agent fees. How much do you make from that? Yeah. Well, at the moment, Paul, I don't have an agent, so um, yeah. Really, what you're talking about is um, you're talking about recording fees, things like that. So, depending how much you've spent on your album, you're looking to break even, then yeah. make money. So, um, so yeah, I, I would say that that's most musicians' uh, problems at the moment because we, most of us make money out of performing. You know, yeah, um, it's the only time you can actually get money in your hands. Yeah. Because no, um, no, uh, what I noticed in the industry from uh, a few years ago is, since yeah. uh, the death of CD and physical media, the uh, yeah. mu musicians or artists would only make more money on the road doing live gigs. Yeah. And now, yeah. uh, because of the virus, the live gigs gone. Everything's gone yeah. to shit, hasn't it? I, th I think when you look at um, like a lot of artists, um, like uh, I think it was Miley Cyrus that was talking recently, and uh, Miley Cyrus. Oh, who, who else? I think I think it's just because these guys are always on the media, you know. But, oh yeah. Um, the, these guys are having a gig like three hundred days a year and more. Yeah. Um, to to justify it, you know, and um, and I, I don't think people. I think people actually think that when they watch MTV, these guys are absolutely loaded with money, you know, but no, it's from the record they're having to do an unnatural lifestyle, you know? Yeah. Um, 
So it's like uh, I, saw, I, was, I did a review on a video not so long ago where uh, you had this uh, wannabe gangster <laughs> rapper. And he's, <laughs> he's got all the watches of money, yeah, you know, showing off in the video. And I'm like, that's not even your yeah. money. That's, uh, you know, the record company's like, yeah. right, we're making a video. Let's go down yes. the bank and get a few props. And then they sign the money out to the artist who's holding it. Yes. And they count it back in at the end yeah. of the fucking recording. You know, <laughs> yeah, it's, yes. not, it's not his own like money. They're leasing out a fucking Lamborghini for the day. Yeah, exactly. And they probably <laughs> kind of they probably got it on um, on yearly di- on yearly group discount. You know, say so, say they've got fifty yeah. artists on their books and two artists <laughs> use it. You know, it's under the same lease, yeah. isn't it? Oh no, it's it's all it's all show me, isn't it? Yeah, of course. But, it, um, is, there's no business like show amazing. business, you know. It is amazing how it goes, man. But yeah. as as we were saying, I mean, like, if, if you think about royalty statements and, and things like that, I mean, can you imagine, like, say, the normal industry? Yeah. I was thinking about this last night. Can you imagine if you gave someone a £5, say, gift voucher for John Lewis, right. and you said, right, that's for a month, mm-hmm. and you can go into John Lewis with this £5 gift voucher and just clear the place and take as much stuff as you want? Can you imagine <laughs> what would happen to that industry? It will go. Well, John Lewis has got near enough gone anyways, because uh, the cunts have yeah. failed to and that's adapt. But... Pain for the stuff. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> but seriously, man, I mean, can, can you imagine? Like, and, and that's what people are doing with uh, with music and movies and stuff. I mean, yeah. can you believe that you can pay £5 and, and watch unlimited movies on Netflix? And, exactly. And, like, Pay. I don't. Is it seven pound ninety nine for Spotify? And you can listen to what you want. I mean, yeah. That. What people don't un- and and I can understand why. Um, say for instance, like people don't pay one ninety nine for a single. Well, why would you if you can listen to as much as you want for five pound? You know. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. And but, the only way that business model works is if uh, the person who has the subscription only listens to two tracks a, uh, a month because then that artist will, oh, yeah. those, uh, that five quid will get yeah. split between the two artists. So if you're listening to thousands yeah. upon thousands of uh, tracks a month, <laughs> then they're getting not even pennies. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, well, actually, that, there was quite a good one. Um, I think I showed you this was last week or something. And, uh, I seen a royalty statement for one of my songs, and then um, it was zero point zero 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 seven. Oh and yeah. <laughs> 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 and I, I was actually thinking to myself, how many times would that um, would they need to listen to that track for me to even make a penny out of that? <laughs> I couldn't even calculate <laughs> you know? that without a calculator, dude. <laughs> no. No. I think I think that's something that, that, that we need to get in, into the media. It's okay us talking about it, but I think people like um, like your Gary Barlow's and, and your your bigger guys. Yeah. I mean they've made their money. Um the industry was good when these guys were there, but That's when people um, physically I mean, buy media though, wasn't it? Yeah, and and I think um if we keep going the way we're going, um like I know most of my friends that, that have done a lot of big gigs and, and like uh, and record deals and same as myself, mate, I thought having a record deal was going to be the best thing ever. Yeah. But um, we're seriously going to lose um, a lot of talent over the next like 10, 20 years because we, we can't physically afford to go in the studio and pay all that money and get nothing back, you know. Exactly. So. And the only way to feasibly do it then is to do it yourself, but then you lose quality because you're not going to be able to compete with the equipment of, yeah. say, a studio where they've spent, what, two, three yeah. million pounds versus your uh, yeah. £500 setup. It's uh, not fair, really, is it? It's bullshit. Well, it's, I mean, even even if you go into the studio for the day, say, yeah. for instance, um, like, like what I've done, yeah. um, I mean, it's okay for me because I went in myself yeah. as a soloist, but if you're going with a band, you've got four or five guys going in with you, that, that's, um, and then you're having to pay for the studio engineer, you're having to pay for all the um, all the equipment. Yeah. Um, you could quite easily come out with, like, after a week, with a bill anywhere between like ten and fifty thousand pounds, you yeah, know. Yeah, exactly. And and that and that might, and that might be a good day. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Um, and you've not even you've not even advertised the album yet. No, you, you've not been in the media. You've not. Um, you know, it's it's a lot of money to make back if if that's what your royalty statement looks like. <laughs> yes, exactly. Um, 
It's fucking mental. And that's why that's why that's why gigs and touring is so. Um, it's important. I think you can see a lot of yeah a lot of musicians at the moment why they're beginning to question this pandemic because um, they can't go out and make money and and I think they're actually saying well how how bad is this you know. What do you feel about the people who are working for free, or the people who are trying to get people to work for free? Oh, Paul, I just like, um... <laughs> mate, I, I, I can't even contemplate that, man. No. Uh, I, I've seen that yeah. thing, was it in Bristol? Yeah, Bristol uh, Hippodrome, the uh, piano like bar. Yeah, and they, they were wanting, like, comedians and... Um, all Musicians that kind of stuff. all to volunteer. Yeah. Yes. Vol yes. Let's get the uh, artists to uh, volunteer their services for nothing. They're not even offering a <laughs> beer of dinner with it. You know, if they're going to be like, okay, yeah. we can't afford to pay you the full rate, your full day rate, but we can give yeah. you a quarter of it, and we'll feed you and drink you uh, for the whole day. Yeah. yeah. And uh, you can yeah. have uh, an uh, another meal with someone else another day. You know that yeah. you're not doing it, but. You know, yeah. At least then, you know, it's not for free and it's a reduced rate. But they're not even yeah. offering f your your dinner and your fucking uh, drinks bill for uh, performing. What four forty five minutes See that? on a night? I mean, maybe people listening to this conversation will probably start. Uh, they can see what they want as far as I'm concerned. Oh, yeah, but don't fuck care. Off. Yeah, exactly, man. There's a massive difference between being a professional and uh, an amateur musician. Yeah, exactly. Now, if you're an amateur musician, look, every musician plays for fun. Yeah. Any performer does their job for fun, right? Yeah. Because they love it, it's their passion. But everybody goes to work to make money. Exactly. Now, if you're a professional, you have to make money. Yeah. Now, the only people, as far as I'm concerned, who would be able to go on that place and play on a Saturday or a Friday or any night of the week for free is someone who's already got a job. Yeah, totally. But but then how can you how can you be a professional performer if you've already got a job that takes you out for yep. five days a week? Exactly. You know? And uh, basically, um, it's these people who will take the jobs <laughs> who uh, fucks it yeah. for uh, professionals because they're like you know it's yeah. free entertainment you know they're not paying anyone so they'll be like well so that person that's he can tickle the keys perfectly you know who does it yeah. flawlessly they'd get someone in instead yeah. who uh, will hammer and sausage finger the whole fucking yeah. shit out of a song and uh yeah, you know, well, because it's free yeah yeah oh at, at the end of the day you know if you're not paying for something what do you expect in return you know it's um, yeah but um Look, we, we all know the, the difference because me and you, Paul, like, we, work, we work as professionals in this industry, but yeah. um, we know the difference between somebody that can go up in a karaoke and oh, God, somebody yeah. that's, that's, that's a professional, you know, and, and yeah. we know that professionals don't go out and, and play for nothing. No, exactly. Um, but then that just happens in local towns. I mean, let's be honest. Yeah. Um, that would never happen in a massive venue anywhere else. No. Yeah, uh, people don't, people don't, like, this is not a hobby, this industry, like, that. this is, you know how much practicing we have to do well, on a regular basis, so, let, tell everyone why the fuck right, did we go out and play for nothing? Exactly, <laughs> right, so, yeah, before we carry on, tell the people out there yeah. how many hours a day you would practice for, just, uh, bef not even co including composition work, how many hours did you just practice for, because you need to keep well, on top of things? Well, Paul, I'll be honest, uh, when I was doing... Well, I've just finished doing my composition work there, so yeah. um, I wasn't practicing much because I was I was writing. But if I'm doing a performance job, yeah. Um, say for instance, I take like a month off before the performance job. I need to get prepared for that. So yeah. you're talking four hours a day, yeah. Um, and then probably two hours a day for maintenance when I'm doing the job. Yeah. And one thing um, that before we carry on, I just want to stop you there. And um, what one thing yeah. that people have to remember is. You're doing because you're playing the piano. You're doing that constantly for yeah, four yeah. hours. Yeah, I'd like to see anyone <laughs> yeah. else do that for four fucking hours and uh, not hurt their wrists or not hurt their fingers. Yeah, you know, not hurt their yeah, hands. Yeah. You know, because you, yeah, you're going to have some smart. <laughs> well, you could have some smarters out there who would be like, yeah, but you're just pi playing piano or something for uh, for yeah. four hours. But yeah, I'd like to see you do that for four fucking hours. You know. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> it's like when people criticize we, dancers you know well i'd like yeah, to see yeah. you do the warm-up 45 minutes set 
the I the rehearsal. Meanwhile, yeah, and meanwhile then, these guys are eating. Meanwhile yeah. these guys are eating chocolate and doing whatever they want. And <laughs> yeah, exactly. Sat at their desk, feet yeah. up, you know, and cowering yeah. behind their boss that they don't even like. Well, so. the, at the end of the day, anybody can sit in the crowd and watch a performance. You know, yeah. it's. But um, we all know what it's like to. I mean. How many people actually do their job in front of a thousand people? There's another question. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, <laughs> <laughs> most people, most people can't even get up in front of an audience and talk in front of a like, hundred people. No, because so. no, they're like, um, uh, yeah, so, uh, uh, and, uh, yeah, <laughs> yeah uh, exactly. Oh my god, that, I'm, ner I'm nervous now. You know? Yeah, exactly. Um, so. So yeah, that, there's another there's another factor that people we used to get that all the time. Paul, remember? <laughs> um, <laughs> well, I'd, <laughs> your job's so easy, you know. Oh yeah. Um, but well, I remember that time. You when... would only. Sorry, you're saying. <laughs> no, it's all right. Okay, right. I'll Sorry. take a little slip. <laughs> Sorry, guys. I'm I'm on the I'm on the good stuff. Yeah. Well, yeah, we managed to. We'll get... Oh, there that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> So yeah, there's this uh, shoppy on, well, a lady that worked in the shops and uh, the P&A Ventura where me and Jay used to work, who come up to me and just went up to me and said one day when I'm passing through the HM, so how much do you earn a day? So I told her, she's like, how is that fair? <laughs> and I'm like, right, the point I'm going to make now, I'll be back in two seconds, I'll make this point. So I went uh, off and spoke to her boss and I come back and I'm like, right, get your ass up to the theatre. And she's like, what? I'm like, I'll create it with your boss come up to the theatre, yeah. switch on the lighting rig, load up the lighting desk and program tonight's show please and she's like, I can't yeah. do that well, I can do your job and watch this, so I serve the customer <laughs> yeah. uh, a passenger uh, some whatever bullshit they're buying you know, you swipe their card, yeah. put it through and I'm like, well, I've not had any training to do your job and I just did it and uh, you're yeah. whinging at how much I'm getting paid which it is rude for you to ask in the first place <laughs> and you couldn't even do yeah. my job so no. she kind of ate her words and just uh, melted into the floor <laughs> but right, that's so, the kind so of thing goes... exactly I had a woman one time this was actually last year Yeah. and uh, I'd, I'd finished uh, I'd, I'd been doing a classical recital right and um, I absolutely sweat my balls off after the performance. You know, I'd been playing, <laughs> I'd been playing like Liszt and uh, yeah. Chopin, and you know, you know when you're nervous and stuff like you, you put yourself through it for an hour and and after it. So I was sitting having a beer, right? And she came up and she said, "Oh, that that was we really enjoyed that, and um, that that I mean that must just be a natural uh, talent, or that that must come natural." <laughs> <laughs> and and you know how you're trying to be really nice because like these people have came to watch and you yeah you need, like be respectful to people you know but um it's amazing how people think um <laughs> that that all of a sudden you just sat and you thought i can do this yeah <laughs> <laughs> you know, apart <laughs> apart from the 15 years practicing <laughs> oh yeah but one of my favorite ones that a passenger used to say to me was um was so uh, when do you gonna when are you gonna go professional? I am a professional. <laughs> <laughs> I'm working professionally. <laughs> and then they'd even say the are same thing to the singers and dancers uh, in the cast as well. It's like, are you for real? <laughs> I used to actually say that to our colleagues just for a laugh. <laughs> um, <laughs> you can. <laughs> that was funny, man. Yeah. I remember saying that. I can't remember who it was. It was like, so you, you're actually going to go professional at some point. And, <laughs> and I think they just heard it so often they, they didn't even realise it was joking anymore. You know yeah. what I mean? It's like... Well, there was that musician <laughs> that I uh, had a bit of beef with. Uh, I won't say the name or the band because it'll yeah, be Yeah, we'll, we'll keep, we'll keep, we'll keep, we'll that keep that names away from yeah. things, huh? But, yeah, yeah, we're... There's having a conversation in the crew bar about I think Amy I know what this is going. Yeah, you were there. You were there. I so, was. I was. Yeah, so we're all having the bevies and whatnot, and then they're talking about great artists, and then one, the, the muso was like, oh, where Amy Winehouse was brilliant, blah, 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 blah. I'm like, no, she weren't. She's fucking crap. And he's like, how yeah. dare you say that? She had an amazing voice. I'm like, she sounds like a fag hag for a start. Yeah. And secondly, yeah. all her songs is about fucking being a crackhead. Wow. Wow. How amazing. Oh, look at me. I'm such a fucking crackhead. And he's like, well, you, yeah. you got no opinion. You're, you're no musician. And I'm like, the one over you, mate. And the whole bar was like, oh. Yeah. <laughs> and he had no yeah. comeback because he was terrible. <laughs> 
<laughs> see, the, the thing is, I didn't laugh at that scenario, but I, I kind of agreed. I, I, I think Amy Winehouse was an amazing singer. Well, but yeah. He had he had no opinion. That's good. No, guy. exactly. <laughs> I mean, at the end of the day, music is subjective, yeah. And um, yeah, it's all about opinions. Yeah, it know. is. But for me, yeah, she was more famous not for her uh, for her music. She was more famous for being a crackhead. Yeah, she was more famous. I enjoyed her jazz stuff. Well, that was before the... that was before she became really uh, fucking uh, junkified, weren't she? Well, wasn't it? Yeah, I think I think that's when she was she was staying in Camden, wasn't it? And yeah. She was, yeah. Um, she was performing in the jazz cafe down there and all that yeah. kind of stuff. So just um, as she made, just as she was turning yeah. big when she was actually okay to listen to before she started to sound like a yeah. full-on fag ag, you know. I think I think the pressure of, um, of that album and uh, was it Back to Black was it? Yeah. Um, where the the pressure kicked in and I think the lifestyle obviously kicked in. Oh yeah, and um, it didn't help that she met up with that junkie Pete dickhead Doherty, you know. That's what yeah, drove her over the edge. Think think he, no, that is a talentless fucker. Oh god yeah. <laughs> <laughs> kicked out of two <laughs> bands. So he got kicked out of uh Baby Shambles. Get kicked out his get kicked out his own fucking band. Yeah, twice. <laughs> twice. <laughs> So, because uh, he went from uh, Baby Shambles into, no, Libertines, was it Libertines first and Baby Shambles or Baby Shambles and Libertines? I can't remember. But he was kicked out of both of them. I don't know. Yeah. yeah. Kicked yeah. out of both of them for being an Absolute. unreliable junkie scumbag. Absolute shit. Yeah. <laughs> uh, used to used to hear people saying, oh, but he's a, a great lyricist. No. Well, go and fucking write poems then. <laughs> 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 I'm just trying to remember. Do you remember the... Uh, uh, that musician, uh, that singer, songwriter, he pro he just proclaimed himself in one in an awards ceremony as being one of the world's greatest ever lyricists, and everyone's like, "No, you're fucking not." Who was that? <laughs> I'm trying to think who he was. I mean, that's how much how how good in the public consciousness Pro he is. <laughs> probably Kanye West. <laughs> no, it wasn't Kanye West. It was a Brit. It was a Brit pop guy. Um, yeah, but you had that's, the, that's embarrassing stuff. It was very embarrassing. It, it, so much so that they did yeah. a never mind the Buzzcock special on him. Well, it just uh, for the whole oh, twenty five right. minutes, just slated oh, the shit out of him. Fucking what was his name, man? Um, Preston. Oh no, it wasn't <laughs> it was Preston. Just... <laughs> yeah, he, he was the first guy that walked off it. You know, he did a press. Yeah, you know, doing a Preston. Yeah, you know, I'd like. I'd love that to do an amazing. interview when someone does a Preston because they. Yeah. Yeah. But no, it wasn't. That was him. top class. Oh, that was brilliant though. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> saying, um, what, what was it, the son, saying his, his girlfriend said that she got a photo shoot done in page three and she felt so classy. Yeah, <laughs> exactly, <laughs> exactly. <laughs> yeah. And then uh, you had, what's his face, and he's reading from her book and he got upset, he's like, I don't know why you're getting upset from reading from, <laughs> I'm reading from her book, I'm upset and I read, and I read the whole fucking thing. <laughs> Even he never read the fucking thing. No, he just had put, he had uh, he had someone else write and put notes into the book, and then he just turned the pages oh. to the notes. <laughs> what a, what a waste of paper. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> they probably end up pulping most of that, book, uh, most of the books. Aye, <laughs> absolutely, man. That was just, that's that's bonfire material. That stuff, man. Well, yeah, you know what they say: you shouldn't do, ever do a book burning. That wasn't even a book. Yeah. <laughs> it was more like uh, no. sketches of uh, shit. Yeah, it was... <laughs> I don't know. I've, I've got no no words for that, Paul. To be fair. Yeah. <laughs> nah, nah, I certainly, certainly wouldn't have dirty mass with that stuff. Like, <laughs> um, Paul, did did we get off topic with music? Yes, we did. We did. I thought. Th what were we talking about? Was it social media? Yes, social media and everything. <laughs> <laughs> So let, let me let me pull this one round then. So how how do you find uh, social media like YouTube when you're doing your blogging and stuff? Well, um, for me with YouTube, it's the, about co trying to conquer the algorithm. You know, because uh, they yeah, won't yeah. promote a lot of things. You need to get at least a hundred hits on per video before you even make a list. Yeah. So that's hard yeah, work. Yeah. So you have to go from social media platform to social media platform, just spamming or trying yeah, to entice yeah, yeah. people into it. So I'm on to <laughs> to try and get that. I'm on Twitter, Facebook, uh, Instagram, yeah. Tumblr. Yeah. I think I think that's another good discussion point, Paul. Um, yeah. Is that um, trying like people? I think people think that um, that 
you get discovered in YouTube and people just find you. That that's nowhere near the case. No, it used um, to be the case before it got became saturated. Uh, yeah. You know, now it's saturated. I would agree with that. Oh. Yeah. I was um like say for instance, um so I've I must have written like say twenty twenty tracks up until now, right? Yeah. One of them one of them was signed to the the Ibiza label, um, Café Del Mar, who's who's one of the biggest labels in, in Europe anyway. Yeah. And that song that song like gets I don't know, between anywhere between four hundred and six hundred uh, downloads per day. Yeah. Right. Which is I mean, compared to guys like Louis Capaldi and all the rest of them, I mean they, they wouldn't even even flinch at that. But yeah. still, I mean Oh, it's an when, you, when you look at the end result, it's still, yeah. it's still a lot, you know? Yeah. Um, but that's because that's a big company and, and they do their own media and they've got a big name about them and, and a reputation. Yeah. Whereas I've got, like, say, 19 other tracks, which I think are possibly just as good as that, but I don't have a, a huge label behind it. So you're maybe only getting, like, I don't know, two or four views a day. Yeah. At best, at so best. There, so there you go. I mean, is it is it down is it down to quality or is it down to something else? You know, sometimes it's um, down to sheer it's a, luck. It's a difficult game. Yeah, uh, part yeah. of it's down to luck. Part of it is down to aggressively marketing it across all social media platforms. It's like, um, yeah. for example, I do three posts a day on all the net, all the platforms that I'm associated with, just to try and push yeah. it out. And um, yeah. Sometimes it works. See, I find that I don't. find that hard, you know. It is, it is, and yeah. you have to do it, yeah. time it right, and um, the way yeah. how it, for me, I've made it a lot easier and more, and less time consuming. It's to link accounts. Yeah. So if I do, for example, yeah, yeah. something on Instagram, it's instantly posts to Facebook, and then um, yeah. if I post something on Tumblr, it will instantly post uh, mm. to uh, Twitter. And then, you know, so... So do you, do you, do you find that, that you've got a lot of material or, or, or is, are you regurgitating quite a lot of things and just putting another plaster on it? No, sorry, no, no, no. Sorry, a plaster. No. A, a, got... What would you call it? A, a label, sorry. Yeah, I'm not, um, I'm not slapping a, a, a new label on or a reduced, <laughs> or reduced uh, quality or what. <laughs> no, everything I've got so yeah. far is uh, all fresh and it's all, you know, new. I'm not regurgitating anything. I'm not repeating yeah, yeah, things yeah. and whatnot. But yeah, yeah. Um, what I might do in the future is re-uploads of older videos just to get them re-sparked. Uh, only once, if I, yeah. you know, only if I start making something, so I can then just do a special yeah. spot. Like, okay, today is uh, so every Friday, for example, I'll do a throwback to you know. So there'll be t uh, a second video, right. which is a throwback video. Yeah. But at least you take say start yeah. uh, from the start. This is a throwback video. But I'm not. Yeah. I'm not nowhere near ready to do that yet because I'm still trying to establish yeah. myself. Yeah. You know, it's like getting yeah. trying to get people to watch it is a battle. Yeah. I mean, I think I think we were talking about this actually um, just before we came on. Yeah. Um, is that I was saying that at the start when I was um, when I was writing uh, all this music that I was getting a lot of views and um, but probably more from people that, that I know personally, you know, um, and maybe at the start I was getting like 150 views. Yeah. But the more that I was putting music up, and I think of it obviously the. Um, when I started uh, saying that I'd been signed to a label and maybe like BBC Radio was involved, that the the numbers actually started going down, yeah. which um, you you would actually think they would go up, but it's because I your uh, viewership is that's... friends and family, and uh, they they know that you've yeah. already been signed, so they don't want to carry on with the support. You know, yeah. Whereas um, yeah. For me, I deliberately... Yeah, that, that's, yeah, that's what I thought. Yeah, um, so for me, I deliberately didn't go out yeah. there and uh, get all my friends and family to watch my f videos because I just didn't want yeah. to uh, make anomalies within yeah. the numbers. I just wanted to try and get yes, people. Yes, yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, there's, there's no doubt about that. I mean, the, the, the good thing for me and Spotify is that I know those, like, say, 150,000 people. I don't know any of them no. because I'm seeing things coming in from like, Argentina, um, like... Uh, Spain, Italy, uh, 
places I've never been to really, you yeah, know. So yeah. Um so you know fine well that that's not um like your pals just keep hitting the hitting the button every two minutes, you know, to try and <laughs> fire the views up, man. Yeah. But, it would be great if people did that. It would be great if people did that, but you know, we're not. We're, I, everyone out there, we're not making a hint. Yeah, we're not dropping hints. <laughs> you know, but if you do want to click those buttons, click the click the like, yeah, yeah. subscribe, and share yeah. buttons for both of our channels. Yeah, yeah. Please, the links yeah. are on please the screen follow. now. <laughs> yeah, please, please, yeah, please fall asleep in the Joe Hume music button. <laughs> <laughs> Make sure that you hit the playlist as well. Go into the playlist and Joe's channel, <laughs> my channel, hit play all, and then just keep going and build up the views. <laughs> Come on, we're desperate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> no. Yeah, man. <laughs> Fucking look at me. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, I need a gig. <laughs> <laughs> so do I, mate. So do I. <laughs> oh, when is this going to be over, like, you know? <sighs> Who knows? Who but, knows? Uh, Summer saying next that's year. Maybe a... Some are saying that's maybe a conversation eh, for another, another. Oh, that would um, be another conversation, but, definitely another oh conversation. <laughs> Paul, I think we've covered quite a bit here. I think we have, <laughs> I think we have. Probably went off topic a few times as well. Yeah, but that's good though. That's what I love about this kind of idea. Yeah. So, um, for everyone Who's out there, happen? we're going to try and get a video once a week, uh, where we're just Mm. going loose you know we'll find something to talk about within the industry mm. or uh, for example i do want to have a right mm. few digs at some uh, people <laughs> and uh, i'm sure that jay would uh, be more than willing to help me mm. out by digging at him he might even pass me a fucking shovel and poke him with it <laughs> I've, uh, I've been i've been known to do that in the past you know oh yeah i have been behaving myself recently i've got to be honest have you <laughs> Yeah. So you yeah. haven't beefed anyone for a while. <laughs> <laughs> Probably quite a few people watching this that don't believe that. <laughs> well, if they if they don't believe it, all they have to do is carry on watching. You know, if they like and subscribe, yeah. and <laughs> yeah. and uh, they want to <laughs> see if we put our money where our mouth is. They will soon find out that we can be pretty brutal, especially when we're working together. <laughs> well, we've certainly had a bit of name of it. Oh, definitely. Um, what was I going to say? Mind, mind you, um, that was in my twenties, Paul. You know, that was about ten years ago. We were doing all that. Well, that was for you. I just <laughs> hit my thirties when that started. <laughs> oh, is that right? Yes, yes. When, you're, you're well, when late, we first met, developer. I was twenty-nine. Oh. I was twenty-nine when we first met, right? dude. Yeah. My God. <laughs> What was that twenty seven? Was it? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, I still had a still had a few years of rants in me by that point, like yeah. Mate, I think you still got quite a few in you. I've still got some for me, for fuck's sake. <laughs> I've got some well, white rants. So, anyone that's watching, you know, stay tuned. You know, every week there will be some brutal rants, and that I guarantee you. <laughs> mate. See if you want to get me ranting, just like let's start talking about Love Island and, and things like that. Oh, we'll be getting on to that. Mental. We'll be getting on to that later on oh, in the yeah. series, mate. So, um, yeah, yeah, get get me reality TV, mate, and I'll fucking crack up. Oh, mate, <laughs> <laughs> I'll put you down fast in Gemma Collins puts down an empty plate, mate. Yeah, that's fast as fuck. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, fucking hell. I'm, I'm waiting right, to right roast Paul. that bitch. <laughs> oh, man. She does, it, she does it herself, mate. Oh, yeah, totally. Totally. Right, Paul, I think we'll, I think we'll call that a wrap, huh? Yeah, definitely. If you guys... Uh... We, we don't... Uh, sorry, you're saying? We don't want to give away too much information about, about next week. No, uh, no, no, we don't. The, the following. But uh, <laughs> I'll just do the uh, outro. Uh, uh, so, um, if you guys uh, like what you've seen, please hit like, subscribe and share. There is links on the screen for Joe's channel and my channels and it all is. my channels. So, across Monster X Media and uh, JQ Music, the link's on the screen yeah. now. And we should Have catch you next time. Mm -hmm.